Saturday's Coast to Coast Pick 5 has three races from Gulfstream Park, two races from Santa Anita Park. It's a great kind of card between the two tracks, obviously Pegasus World Cup uh, day at Gulfstream Park. But we'll look at the sequence, which will get kicked off at Santa Anita Park in race number two from them. It's the grade three Las Virginis. I actually only went too deep in here. I used the number one, Faza, who I think has been impressive, two for two in her career so far and handled grade one competition nicely last time out. She almost got caught, but she's stretching out from six furlongs to a mile and a 16th. And I also used the number four, Pride of the Nile, who's second in that grade one starlet exits that same race. And I thought she ran well from off the pace. Now, we move on to race number 11 from Gulfstream Park, the first of the three Pegasus World Cup races. This is the Pegasus World Cup, Billy and Mare Turf, uh, sponsored by uh, the TAA. And looking at this field at a mile and a 16th on the turf, another race that I go kind of light, I use the number six, Queen Goddess, who I thought ran very well last time out at uh, Santa Anita, uh, was part of that pace scenario, and I think that's key for her in this race. Again, I think she's going to be very close to the pace, which is a good spot to be on the Gulfstream Park turf course. I also use the number nine, Shantasara out of the Chad Brown barn, who I, I'll be blunt, disappointed last time out at Keeneland. I thought uh, she would run much better than she did prior to that. was a nice second behind Regal Glory in the grade one, Jenny Wiley at Keeneland. Maybe she needed a race off that layoff, and now she's just going to make her second start since April of 2022. Back to the West Coast for race number three at Santa Anita Park. Uh, looking at this race, I spread in here. I used the two, five, and the six, the two true Patriot. Uh, has a bit of secondness, but at least has some experience against winners, unlike a couple others in this field stepping up. Uh, the number five, Shocking Grays, one of them broke the maiden last time out, but did it very nicely. And the Jeff Mullins barn, second off uh, a 45 to 180 day layoff, 42% a really big stat. And I thought the number six, Precious Baby, going to be a price, maybe one to use. Didn't show too much last time out when facing winners for the first time out, but ballet dancing, uh, the winner, a very nice runner out in California, has got some. Uh, stakes competition in her past, and I thought this horse might be close to the pace, so it would be interesting to see what the odds on are, excuse me, on the number six, Precious Baby. Now, we wrap it up in the last two legs at Gulfstream Park with their two big feature races of the day. Uh, race number 12 is the fourth leg, the grade one Pegasus World Cup Turf Invitational, a mile and an eighth on the grass. No Colonel Liam this year. I think it's a wide open field. This is my spread race in the sequence. I end up using four runners. Starting with the number six, Lady Spite Spear, who is a girl tackling the boys, but I think she earns that respect in here. Last time out, a really big third on Breeders' Cup Day in that Philly and Mare Turf, and that was kind of her first time stretching out in a while. She handled a mile and three sixteenths beautifully. Really excited to see her staying long at a mile and an eighth. She was a three-time winner last year. Uh, price should be right on Lady Spite Spear. Other horses, though, the number seven, Speaking Scout, out of the Grand Motion Barn, uh, was a bit of an upset last time out. In a grade one out at Del Mar, was able to kind of circle most of the field and get up in time, but it was a huge performance and even two starts back ran very well. So knowing that this one handled the grade one competition last time out, uh, I like to see that. Paco Lopez aboard eight to one is the morning line price. And then the number 10, Ivar, who I know a lot of people are rooting for in this spot, was winless in 2021, but did pick up a win last year in a very good race in the Breeders' Cup Mile in his most recent effort. It'll be interesting to see what he'll do at Gulfstream Park. He's never raced over this turf course, but he certainly has the class. And you go down the page, a lot of triple-digit buyer speed figures. He should be coming from off the pace in this event. And then towards the outside, the number 12, City Man. Going to try to keep that win streak alive and make it four in a row. Now, he stepped up considerably last time out in that grade two Fort Lauderdale. It was his first outing at Gulfstream Park. I thought he ran very well. He got a nice trip. The concern, though, is the post position, but just knowing that he's in such good form right now, wanted to use him in this ticket. Then to wrap it up, we wrap up with the highlight at Gulfstream Park on Saturday, the $3 million Pegasus World Cup. I'll use two runners. I'll be honest, the number 10 Cyber Knife, based on what he showed last year, does look extremely tough in this spot. But I think depending how the pace scenario shapes up in here, the number four, White Abario, He's intriguing. He's getting back to Gulfstream Park where he's undefeated on the main track. And jockey Tyler Gaffleon's climbing back aboard. I think that's key to note. Uh, I think this horse is a huge shot. He's 10 to 1 on the morning line. He might actually take some play here with kind of those two big uh, factors that I mentioned, Tyler Gaffleon, as well as getting back to Gulfstream Park. So there's my ticket. You can see spread race ends up being the fourth leg of the sequence. It's a $96 ticket because don't forget, it's a dollar minimum with a lovely 15% takeout. A lot of stakes races in the sequence.
don't forget to get involved this Saturday in the Coast to Coast Pick 5.